Today's video is going to show you two tools that are quite interesting and maybe not used enough. They are bars pattern and ghost feed. And what we're going to do in, in this quick video is show you how you can use these tools to plan ahead and why they are as important as they are. So what we're going to do with bars pattern, we're going to, we're going to use bars pattern first. Now in markets, they often say that, uh, you know, trades tend to repeat or there are investments that uh, you know have sometimes have certain rhythms to them they there's similar things happening that have happened in the past after all all we can use really is prior price information to make decisions so this tool by the way is built just for that bars pattern let us give you an example suppose you think that this is the next that this is the bottom and the next cycle has begun, and we're going to go to all-time highs on this specific chart. Well, what you could do is plan ahead by trying to visualize just how that would look using similar instances in the past. So let's take a look. This bottom here in March of 2021 to this high of May of 2021, and we click. And what bars pattern does is it copies those bars and presents them to you beautifully just like this. Now, what you can do is drag this anywhere on the chart. And as we mentioned, if we think this is the, the bottom of this move, well, we could perfectly lay this over that. And now what we have is a visual of how this move could look if it were to trade similar like it did several months ago and now you have this map that you can look you know you can look to you can use this as your guide you can also even say to yourself does this map look realistic maybe it turns out that it doesn't maybe you realize you know what i don't think it will trade like this in fact now i know i need to reevaluate my trade because i was wrong and you can click the tool and double click it to open the settings and you can totally customize it so you can change its color to any color of your choice and you can also change the mode of it so how you want it to be shown or calculated open and close only highs and lows totally up to you this would be a line so you can construct it exactly to your needs for now let's do a line with the close only you can also mirror it, so turn it like it was looking at a mirror, completely reverse it, or you can flip it and flip it around. So all of this is possible using these settings. So what we're going to do is now show you one more tool which is very helpful for planning ahead, and that's Ghost Feed. Ghost Feed is interesting because Ghost Feed is a tool you can use to attempt to look out into the future at possible trading patterns. So let's go to a different chart and walk through this all over again. And in this instance, why don't we go ahead and look at, say, the Euro USD? Click to open. We're good. Now, what we could do is let's click auto this chart to bring back the scale. Our first step is deciding well which direction is our trade going to go say it's going to go up it's a up into the 2022 okay all the way to the end of the year well now what you would do is rather than just sort of drawing a straight line like this or even if you were to say to be an maybe you're interested in elliott wave as well so if you were even making your own cycles or if you were using something to you know map out these types of impulses say like this well what you also could do that's quite interesting is you could use the bars or the ghost feed tool to actually see how that might look and look how in each step we click ghost feed is sort of giving us this yeah demonstration of how the trading could look on this chart using past data and these specific ranges and then you can look and say well this doesn't look realistic or this does look realistic and that's just going to help you map out and plan ahead that much more and if you double click you can customize 
these candles any way you want. So you can make them, you know, maybe more closely match the current chart. You can hide the wicks, choose to show the borders or not. You can also make them totally transparent or not transparent at all. It's up to you. But the reason why this is such a helpful tool is because now you can visualize ahead. Does that look realistic? Does that follow your plan? Is it not what you would expect? For example, maybe you think this double top will continue through. Well, this ghost feed is kind of showing us a different outlook here. Keep in mind what's particularly unique about ghost feed is that it will change each time you use it because it is primarily a random calculation. So look at the way that's structured. We'll do this again. You see already, it's different already. So you can kind of see how this works. It's going to generate you a different look each time you use it, but that's the beauty of it. It's so that you can use the tool to think ahead and plan ahead. So that's today's quick video. It's just about going out, opening a chart, and before you place a trade, you can use some of the tools available to you, long and short position tools as well, but you can use bars pattern and ghost feed to just see if it's something that's possible. Remember, this is bars pattern. So now we get this exact pattern. We move it here, exact replica, and that's how that looks. Or if we were to use the ghost feed, well, we could start from here and start to map out the trade. So now we have our double top form there. Maybe we think it would hit again and then fade. And maybe it's more so something like this. And now we can even go out and see, well, that would be something that wouldn't even surprise us, a false breakout that leads to a really quick breakdown. So these types of tools are meant to plan ahead and just help you visualize what a trade could look like. Because oftentimes when you go to make a trade, you will sometimes think, well, this is just gonna go straight up. It's that easy, but it's often not. So what you're going to want to do is use something like ghost feed to actually see how that looks. Does that look realistic to you if it just went straight up like that? Because that's how it could potentially look using the ghost feed tool. So you want to really keep that in mind that this tool can be made to just bring back your expectations. And then of course, the bars pattern is a way you can study past price history, get an exact replica of that price history. Then you can drag it onto the chart to kind of see, well, this has happened before. If it happened again, what would that look like and what would that mean? Well, it would mean breaking through this, this area fast and swiftly. It would even mean breaking through these highs incredibly fast and swiftly. And you can just now see that on the chart. Instead of drawing it out, you're actually using real past data to give you that look. So we hope this video helps you get started with these tools. Super simple. They're right here in your prediction and measurement tools. And you can get started by just selecting either of them. Thank you for watching.